More than 300 people, including families, have marched on Victoria's Hazelwood power station, demanding it be shut down. At times, the protest turned rowdy as demonstrators tried to get past the huge police cordon. It was billed as a peaceful protest. And there were always going to be some who saw the massive police presence as a challenge. The march began quietly with many families joining the call to close Hazelwood, which has been branded the most polluting power station in the industrialised world. We're concerned about the future for our families, for the families to come. The perimeter of the plant was ringed by scores of police. Even the ponds were patrolled. Not surprising given previous break-ins by green activists and a death threat earlier this year against the plant's CEO. But to the protesters, the police presence was overkill. The Brumby government's completely overreacted and really seems to be running its own agenda on law and order. Once the group settled outside the power station entrance, there were those who decided actions spoke louder than words. And through the afternoon, police lines were put to the test. Time and time again the demonstrators keep pushing up against the fence. It's hard to tell if the purpose now is about the protest or simply about annoying police. By the way, the end result was numerous arrests, most for trespass, one for assaulting a police officer. But they vowed they'll be back here again. To stay with us on Sky National News, still to come all today's sport with Roz and